Rose is asleep. Oh, thanks, man. Poor little thing, she's buggered. Hmm? I thought that might happen. Yeah? Hmm. Well, you could have told me before I got my ribs broken. You don't think I can do this, do you? I think you need psychiatric assessment to even consider it. Okay, Sash, here's how it is. This place is mine, if I want it. So, to prove to the old man that I can cut it, I've been working under some of the meanest bloody chefs in Europe, and I'm talking about 24 carat assholes. I, I've had a plate of offal thrown at my head because there was one finger mark on it. Work back-to-back -back shifts for four days while Rosie had a temperature of 45 and was rushed to the hospital with convulsions. I've done my time. I've earned my stripes. I'm not working under anyone ever again. Plus, I've been waiting to do this since I was three years old. I can do this. Temporary loss of mental faculties. I put it down to jet lag. There's one thing I need, though, to do it, and it is you. What? I never write anything down, Sash. I get all my P's and Q's. Back to front, you are my memory, mm. man, and I cannot do this without my memory. I have a comfy birth, Gabe. Rita is a genius. Come, Lita is beside me, and cooking makes her horny. With all respect, I've seen you horny and it's not pretty. I've learned so much stuff that I can teach you. Yeah. Come on, we'll both be living in the same house, basically, anyway. Me upstairs with Rosie and you and Lita in the flat. It's out of the question. What would Carmelita say? What sort of stuff? I've even included you in the new name. Remember that night at the Duke of Kent? You uh, thought it was so uh, clever? It's out of the question. What sort of stuff? by way of an inducement. Ignore the bad seed here, she's a philistine. Inducement to what? You got any sauce? Lita, come and work with me. Sash is thinking about it. Us. Him and me work for you. With me. Work with me. Sash is, is thinking about it. Leave Ruth and Rita and work for you. You're nuts. Salted, roasted, blanched ground and slivered nut. And you don't think it's dangerous. I'm not really thinking about it. Hello? Sash, I need a really big favour. Duck. Duck? Well, this prick wants 15 bucks a bird. I know Ruth. If Rita's got duck on her specials board, she won't be paying that, mate. You find out how much for me? That's industrial espionage. Please, Sash. Please. Begging your pardon, sir? I'm only recently arrived in your wonderful country and your customs are wordy, wordy, strange. I am finding that I'm having a profound ideological objection to your proposition. Good day to you. What are you doing? Ducking. Duck. Checking the price of. Why? For Gabriel. He's spying. So, give me one good reason why I shouldn't sack you. The suppliers are dishonorable cheats. And I've decided on reflection that if the laws of capitalism prevent us honestly sharing mutually beneficial information with our colleagues, especially when they're friends, then there is not much honor left in our profession. And if that is considered a hanging offence, then the only really viable option for someone with an innate sense of morality is to quit. You're sacked. Right. Well, things seem to be going pretty well so far. New school shoes, okay, or blistery? Blistery, I could try band-aids. 
greatly underrated as a fashion accessory, the band-aid. Sash, I love you! <laughs> Correct response. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, it's going to be great. It's going to be great! There are conditions. I want to be too I see. I want dishes on the menu. I want nights off to match Carmelita. Take your shoes and, off. I'm going to kiss uh, your feet. And most importantly, we're friends first, boss and employee second, no matter what. Agreed? Agreed. Seal the deal. <clears throat> you know who we need? He's mad, bad, mighty unclean, but I've held a stopwatch to him and he's the neatest, he's the fastest. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Dish piggy! Yeah. <laughs> Dad, there is a huge, huge rat in the kitchen. Dude's mean. It's got green eyes like it's radioactive or something. No, no, I reckon it's cloned itself like there's a hundred of the mothers, like in the Matrix, you know? Christ, it's probably got a bloody extended family. Oh, mate, I've got to tell you, as a team building exercise, this sucks. Huh? Got it! Oh, no. <laughs> You can't. It's out of the question. It's bad karma. Mate, had bad karma in its last life. That's why it's a rat. Put it out of its misery. It'll have better karma. It might come back as a rabbit or a guinea pig. Under no circumstances will I allow it to be summarily executed. This is a democracy. I mean, what do you know about karma anyway? Go! Boom! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. A rat. Don't look. Secret dessert bitch stuff. You are a spy and a communist, and this is the Berlin Wall. Did you say a rat? Only a small one. You know what, Lita? I think the egg must be the loneliest thing in the world. No going back now, Chef. I haven't quite told you the truth, Sash. There's no money. I mean, there's what I saved, a couple of grand for food, few weeks' wages. I'm not paying myself. Yes? We need to be more than good. More than good cooking, good food, good atmosphere. Oh, we need luck, mate. A shitload of it. Why do you do this job? I've been doing it since I was three years old. Wrong. Try again. I can't do anything else. I've got a kid to feed. Try again. You do this job because no other drug gives you the same kind of buzz. Cooking turns you from an irresponsible, underweight wanker and indiscriminate screw around her into a decent human being. It makes you open, it makes you generous, it makes you give something, I don't know. Love. It makes you the kind of man I want as my friend. <laughs> <laughs>